Hello, this is I Do Damage, and welcome back to the channel. In this Torchlight 3 video, I want to talk about enchanting, how you unlock it, and how it all works. Just so you know, there might be some minor spoilers in this video, but I've seen some questions about crafting. Does this game have crafting? And if so, what's it look like? So just so you know, they do have enchanting. It's not really crafting at all. And it's a pretty basic system, so this video hopefully is pretty short and to the point just for you if you're questioning what enchanting looks like in this game. First things first, the way that you unlock enchanting is by completing the story. Once you've completed the story, you will gain access to the enchanting table, which you can then place in your fort and use to start enchanting items. In order to start enchanting items once you have the table placed in your fort, you actually need to find recipes out in the world that teach you different ways to enchant different recipes, as you would expect recipes to do. You need to be fighting at least level 46 monsters because items level 46 and higher can drop enchanting slots. So once you've unlocked the enchanting table on one character, you can use it on another character as well without having to beat the story. But keep in mind, you're not going to find any enchanting slots on any low level items, not until the item level that you're finding is 46 or higher. So now that you know how to unlock enchanting, you need recipes and what item levels actually drop enchanting slots on them. Let's talk a little bit about what it all looks like when you start to enchant these items. One thing I want to I want to note really fast is I think it'd be really cool if they added in a way or a consumable to actually add an enchanting slot to an item. Because as it is right now, you just have to get lucky and hope that piece of loot laying on the ground actually has an enchanting slot on it. If it doesn't, there's no way currently to add it to the item. Most items in the game are going to come with one enchanting slot on them. The exception to this is white or common items can have, I believe, up to two or three slots on them. I wouldn't specifically aim for these as higher quality are going to more than likely be better than common items. But just so you know, that is a thing that exists in this game. When you actually find an item that has an enchanting slot, you can then use these crafting essences to add an enchantment onto an item. When you scroll through your list of enchanting recipes, you can see what will be added and what is in that pool of that specific recipe. So if you're looking for flat damage, one piece of advice that I have to offer is go to the hot and cold enchantment if you're trying to enchant a weapon, because you're going to have a 1 in 3 chance of getting a flat damage modifier through this enchanting recipe, be it fire or ice damage. It, either way, it's going to buff up your weapon damage. But you can go through, look at all the recipes, and figure out what gives what. One thing that is missing and I would like to see added is the threshold of the lowest variable to the highest variable of what can actually be added on there. That would just be a nice thing because if, if I knew what the maximum was, I'd be more apt to keep re-rolling and enchanting the piece to get the highest roll possible. With that in mind, let's talk a little bit about disenchanting and how to do that. Very simple. Once you have the item enchanted with something, you will see disenchant as an option. Don't worry, this will not break down your item or destroy your item. It will just erase that enchant for a cost of gold and essences. You can then enchant again and just re-roll until you find the enchantment that you're looking for. One last thing that I want to point out with enchanting is the essences. I did mention the gold cost as well. The gold cost on disenchanting is pretty high on a legendary. I think it's about 750 gold to re-roll once. But the essences, you can get more if you're low on essences, you're running out. You can salvage items to get more essences in your inventory to help out with your enchanting. I personally have not had to do that. I've never ran out of essences yet. You get a lot of essences through the contract system and the contract rewards. But if you are running low and running out of essences, you can go to the enchanting table, right click on a piece of gear from your inventory and break it down for essence. It's totally an option as well. You can also do that with recipes that you've already learned if you, if you need more essences. But like I said, I personally haven't ran out of essences yet. Then again, I haven't done a load of enchanting because there's just not a lot there really. And I, I think that's the main reason why I've put off putting out this video because it just it's such a simple system that, I don't know, I feared I'd explain it because I've seen some questions come up. So I hope that this video helped at least one person out there. If so, don't forget to like, subscribe, or ring that bell notification to get notified when I post new weekly videos. And feel free to share with your friends. And don't forget, you can check out our social media links down below for our Discord, Twitter, Twitch. I can't thank you guys enough for your continued support and just allowing me to talk about video games. It's my true, honest passion. And the fact that even one person out there gets something from it just means the world to me. I can't thank you guys enough. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you 
next time. 